Hi, beautiful. Today I got to do my favorite thing ever, which is watch people use my hair color. And, and, and today I'm finally bringing my hair shirt out for a spin. This is the shirt I made out of hair, remember this? If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. It's actually so sick. Like, this is all human hair. If you think that's weird, well, you're obviously not a hairstylist and it is weird. Okay. I am so excited to see the magic unfold from these color transformations today. Up first, we have Foxy Mimic, and she is coloring her hair with super yellow. It is one of my favorite colors, and it is so underappreciated. It is the brightest, sexiest yellow ever. I am actually trying out one of Brad Mondo's new color line, his super yellow, and I'm really excited to test it out. I've heard really great things, and I can't imagine that he would steer me wrong. I would never. I have never had all yellow hair before. I am so excited for yellow hair on her. I don't even give a shit if it's my color or not. Like, I am happy it is mine. But besides that, yellow hair on her, I think will be a look. Ooh, just a really bright yellow is gonna look sick with her hair and her hair cut and her hair length. She's gonna look like a ray of sunshine. I can't wait to see it. We'll see how that looks. I've had yellow in my hair, but never as most or all of my hair. And I'm just going pure yellow yellow. We gotta bleach this out. Oh, thank God she's bleaching her hair. I thought for a second she was gonna try to put the yellow over the pink and I was like, girl, that is not gonna work and that is a horrible idea. My roots are getting long and yellow's probably not gonna sit well over this color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bleach my roots first using 30 volume developer and Kaleida Colors Blue Bleach. Yes, you know I love 30 volume. I think 30 volume and lightener is great for her to bleach those roots. She actually only needs to lift her hair to the yellow stage in order to put yellow over it. Unless down the line, she's gonna end up changing her hair color from yellow to pink to blue, whatever. Because in that case, you're gonna wanna lift it to a very, very bright pale yellow. But if she's gonna stick with yellow for a while, having that yellow base underneath the yellow is just gonna make the yellow even more poppy and more vibrant. We're gonna start with just this bottom area down here. And she's starting from the bottom. Yes! The way you're applying that is really good. I have a feeling you're a hairstylist. And if you're not, you're really good at doing this to yourself. Those crisp, beautiful lines and beautiful sections, mwah. All right, the roots are done. They are doing their thing. I'm taking my gloves off. There is though, I see a little bit of overlapping going on there. You really need to be careful with that so your hair does not break. You do not experience any more damage than necessary. That little part that's overlapping, that white section, uh, it makes me a little scared. Also, you need to apply a bit more lightener. You should not be able to see fully through the lightener once it's done being applied. Like you should have a thick coating on there. It should appear like white. I'm gonna take this shower cap. I spritzed some water in it. I don't know if you guys can tell it's a little bit wet to keep the bleach from drying out because once it dries out, it doesn't work anymore. You watch my videos so much and I love you. You just sprayed water in the processing cap. Yes, that's my favorite. Just to keep that lightener moist and keep it processing. I'm I'm gonna leave this on probably for about 45 minutes, I'm thinking, which is, I don't know, I'm getting a little bit weirded out by the bleach because it's not lifting as fast as my hair normally does. And being that these are my roots, they should be lifting even faster. So I don't know why it's not, especially because I used 30 volume today instead of 20 volume, which lifts faster. I feel like you just didn't apply enough, but I also agree with you. Why is it not lifting faster? It's kind of weird. Definitely got the brown out. It's definitely lifted and looking good. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this out. I did leave it in for 45 minutes. It's definitely good for yellow, but your hair is not lifted light enough. But again, if you wanna keep it yellow all the time, this is a perfect amount to lift it to. Otherwise, you should lift it more if you're planning on changing the color later on. All right, we've got the bleach all rinsed out. It's looking good. Definitely a great base to put yellow on. Now for the mids to ends of my hair. I don't wanna just do a full bleach on them again. What I'm gonna do is a bleach bath which is less damaging than regular bleaching. Perfect decision. Doing a bleach bath on your hair to get that just top layer of pink out is a perfect idea. So I'm gonna do basically the exact same mixture that I did last time, except instead of 30 volume, I'm gonna use 20 volume. To do a bleach bath, you mix that together and then you add in, this is the shampoo I have, however much shampoo you would normally use to shampoo your hair, you mix it all together and then put it on towel dry hair. So that is what I'm gonna do and we'll see how it works out. And she got the formula right for a bleach bath. Wow, wow. My hair is parted and I'm just 
gonna try and avoid the roots that I just did because we don't need to go over them twice. So down here, it's actually gonna be a little bit easier. I think I'm gonna apply it kind of with my fingers instead of with a brush. Totally fine to apply with your hands in this situation. That is what we usually do in the salon too. We'll lay you back in a sink, drop it all on your hair and just start lathering it in. So I definitely re-got my roots in some areas. It'll be fine. But I'm gonna put another head cap over my head again with a little bit of water. I don't think this will dry out since my hair is already wet. And then we'll leave it in, I'm gonna say 15, 20 minutes. We are blonde, the gloves are on. Holy sh that is really fucking even. But I'm so excited to finally do my hair. I washed it this morning to make sure it was nice and clean. She said that she washed her hair and now she is ready to apply it onto her dry, clean hair. Yes. Don't apply semi-permanent color onto dirty hair. You need all of those little crevices in your hair open nice and wide to receive that very conditioning color. But it took so long to dry because it is kind of fried and without the conditioner, my hair just wanted to hold on to that water so bad. I mean, your hair might be a little fried now, but we do have Bond Builder and and proteins and oils and hyaluronic acid all in our color so your hair is gonna feel so good after and you guys are gonna see how much shinier and healthier her hair is post coloring. Look how yellow that is. This is gonna be so cute. I'm so excited. Our yellow is like a very primary color yellow. Like it is right in the middle of cool and warm. We're doing this with the hands because I always do colors with the fingers. I also made this color so you can use it with your hands. Like that is totally great, totally fine and totally acceptable. It is in a jar so you can dip your hands in and go right for it. And we're done. It went on really well. It saturated all of my hair. I used the entire container uh, for my head of hair. Her hair already looks so good. Ah! Final look. Ah! <laughs> I was so worried. This is the number one color that I've been so scared to color my hair because I was like, yellow is gonna look the absolute worst on me. She looks like a cute anime character. I can't. Also like because her skin is cool toned, I wouldn't expect yellow to look so good, but the yellow looks cool toned on her because she had so much yellow pre-existing in her hair. It almost turned it like a slight lime green color, which looks so good. Like it's like neon yellow. It is a very vibrant yellow, which is what I expected. Mission accomplished, baby. Thank you, Brad Mondo, for creating such a stunning color. I will definitely have to try some of your other shades once this fades out. My hair does actually feel softer than it did before I put the color in. So all is well. Thank, thank, thank you. No, thank you. I will be sending you a lot more colors to try. Thank you for your review. You're the sweetest. Up next, we have a video by Leah Marriott and she is using super pink and super blue. Sorry, hold on. My hair is getting a little frizzy. <laughs> it's very warm in here right now. Just one second. Just gotta... There we go, that looks better. Let's give it a little scrunch. Ooh, yeah. Okay, I'm ready now. I'm gonna be reviewing two of the three Ex Mondo color products. So at the moment, they have super pink, super blue, and super purple. I am not ready for this transformation, and by I am not ready means I am very ready. Cause like, for some reason, I just can't imagine her with pink and blue hair. Like, that's a gigantic difference from this whole blonde moment going on right now. She's gonna be living her fucking extra life, man. So I picked up the pink and and the blue. Unfortunately, the purple was sold out. However, what I'm gonna try and do is mix the two colors together and then see if I can kind of make a purple because I'm pretty sure it doesn't red and blue make purple. Yes, it does. What I really like about these is that you can kind of just like dip your hands in it. I definitely think that this is gonna be very helpful and you can kind of just put the lid back on. So easy. Literally just stick that hand in there and go for it. I know y'all don't have the tools at home and I'm trying to help you out, baby. I'm gonna section it into three sections sections like bottom, middle, top. And I think I'm gonna try it and go for blue at the bottom, purple in the middle if I can make purple, and then pink on top. Holy sh Oh, I am literally beyond excited to see what this transformation looks like. I've got the blue and we're just gonna go straight for it. Look at the pigment in that color and it smells so good. This is the moment of truth. I'm literally just gonna go straight in with my hands and I'm gonna try and get like a back section and then literally just apply it onto dry hair and look at the pigment. Oh, it is so blue, <laughs> which I know, but like, whoa. Oh my goodness. 
She's definitely freaking out a little bit. So glad she's starting from the bottom and working her way up. Thank God. Since it's a conditioning color, you can definitely run the comb through and it will not pull your hair out and it will be completely safe to do. This transformation is happening before my eyes and I'm so excited about it. Look how stunning that is. And this one definitely has glitter in it, so I'm assuming that the blue does as well. I think I've got purple. Oh my God, that is definitely purple. Okay, now we're going with the purple. I just feel like this is gonna look really good on her. I mean, she has the skin tone for it. I'm glad that she's doing the pink on top. I think that's gonna look so cool when her hair moves around and you can see like the purple underneath and the pink on top. It's gonna give you all sorts of dimension and funness. I love the idea. It'll be interesting to see if this actually takes purple on the hair or whether it like defaults to like the more dominant color that was in the mix I'm literally mixing it in my hands I don't know if it's gonna exactly look purple she is right that I think the dominant pigment is most likely gonna take over which is the blue and it's gonna appear too similar to the blue underneath it but that's okay so I'm just gonna try and get the pink on now that's the last bit that I'm gonna do up here at the top so once that's on I can just like wait and then wash it all off I can't wait till she glides that first bit of pink on our hair. I really am going for the approach of just lathering it on now and then I'll just sort of go back in and try and tidy up the sections. Not the greatest of techniques, I will admit, but we are getting somewhere. Like, I almost have it all on now, so that is a good sign. Oh my god. It looks like she's putting blood on her hair. Our pink is really pink. I actually think I would die if Fragmondo actually saw my awful coloring technique right now. I'm not dying. It's actually completely fine. If this was bleach you were applying to your head, yes, I would be dying, but it's totally fine with semi permanent color. You don't need to be super, super organized with how you apply it. You just need to make sure you saturate every little piece and strand. So as you can see, the color is now all on. It has been on for way longer than it should have been on. All right. Let's see it. Hi everyone, it is the next day now and as you can see, this is the finished result of my hair. I'm absolutely in love with these products. The colours are just absolutely beautiful and I was really pleased that when I washed it out last night, you could actually see the purple in my hair. Oh my god. She looks like a whole different person and a way more fun person if I'm going to be honest with you. She looks like a creative, cool ass girl like yes look at the colors they are just so vibrant i really am living my best extra mermaid life right now and yeah thank you so much brad mondo for blessing our lives with these products thank you i needed that today yes thank you wow Great job. Up next, we have a video by Chicken Queen, and this is her dyeing her hair with super orange. Today, I'm gonna be dyeing my hair orange. This is big. You're getting your bank for your buck, I guess. Yeah, so if you're looking into buying this, at least you'll have enough to cover your hair. That's right, girl. I did not want to create a color where you could not cover your entire head with it. That is my biggest thing. Like, oh my God. It's a thing where like a lot of color lines don't make enough color to cover your entire head. I don't understand why. Okay, let's, let's open it, it up. I want to see how it looks inside. A look a smell, uh, okay. that's vibrant a orange. <laughs> Wait, can we replay her face? Uh, she was shook. He says he puts glitter in all the, <gasps> you can see it, like the glitter. Okay, I love that. He puts glitter in it. <laughs> I'm loving this review. I'm glad you like the glitter. And it is ethically sourced mica, by the way, everybody. So don't come for me. Ethically sourced mica. Brad, you should tell us what colors we should go. What I colors know. she should go next? I'll yeah, what color I should, I should go. go next? The friend on the right, you should color your hair pink bangs, purple everything else. And then your friend, I just want to see this orange moment. Like, I just think that's going to look amazing. Dude, can I do a strand of your hair? Absolutely. Yes, yes I want to feel like a hairstylist. Okay. That feels good. <laughs> It's, it's like so hair. satisfying. It's like hair orgasm. I'm so glad she's starting from the bottom, working her way up, and it is so orange. I really need to have a glove on right now, but I'm just putting it on my bare ass. Hands. Girl, wear gloves, please. You're gonna end up with orange hands and it's not gonna be cute. Your hair just turns out terrible at the end. Yeah. You're like, fuck Brad Mondo. <laughs> yeah, fuck <laughs> you, Brad Mondo. I'm never watching your videos again. You fucked my life up. <laughs> please, no. <laughs> please, turn out good. I really like that she has a little bit of a root too, and it's like a level six, seven. It's gonna look so good with the cool tone root and the orange ends. Like I just see this coming together as a whole damn look. Oh. 
All right, guys, we're incubating the hair. It's looking pretty good. Brad, it's looking good. I'm excited to see what it turns out like. Of course it's gonna look good. Would I ever fail you? I was kind of worried that it would maybe turn out a little reddish because I really don't like red hair. Are you kidding? With this whole look, you guys always pull the sickest looks on me. Like I can't even compete with the looks you do. The orange earrings, the orange hair, the, the orange pants, like God. I think this is just such a moment for me. I feel like hippie-ish, I feel cute. I feel like my roots look so good too with it. Like, oh my gosh. And the texture feels so fluffy and like my hair feels like soft and like billowy and like healthy. And I have to say, I don't have one bad thing to say about X Mondo hair color. Brad Mondo, you outdid yourself. I love you. I love what you create. I'm so excited. 10 out of 10. Such a good experience. I love it. I love being orange. Okay, you are so f***ing sweet and I literally love you. Thank you for your review. That was so nice. Your hair looks so good and with the waves and with the roots and that look and that just all came together. I love orange on you. I think you should keep it for a while if you don't already still have it. Like I, this is great. That made my day, my week, my month, my year like that. You guys are just so amazing. And thank you for all the positive things you said about my color. I love that I get to create a product. You guys make videos. I get to react to them. And it's just like a big circle of greatness. This is literally why I create products to bring confidence to people. I think hair is so powerful and I'm so grateful to have the job that I have and have all you guys supporting me. So thank you. If you want to check out any of the color in today's video, you can do it with the links down below or go to xmondohair.com. That is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye.